what you know is going to happen. You know what's going to happen. Here she is. There she is. <laughs> You're making there me smile. Is. There she is. Hey, we got nothing but love between us. You know, we ain't nothing but family. We family. And uh, mm-hmm. thank you for being here. Thank you. I'm you just glad it worked smile. out. Look at you. Look. Hey, everybody's smiling because you're here, too. Oh, I think you said the smelling. I'm like, I'm glad they can smell. Sometimes I have trouble smelling. <laughs> yeah, smelling, smelling, all of the above. Oh, That's good. Man. How much trouble have we caused since we've been on live on YouTube, you know? I don't know. I don't know. I can't wait uh-huh. to find out. I feel like I'm being protected and hidden from some things. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not that sure. That might be. That actually might be. Uh, okay, so I told you I was putting stuff together for everybody that's a part of the show well, for this last show. And uh, then I ran out of time. So I have to put my tribute together another time. But I was looking at video for you and I was going like, man, you got a lot of things that you said that are like really choice good stuff. So I just want you to know that I was going to showcase a lot of that and everybody else. But I ran out of time because I promised to do this show at a certain time. So Yeah, you've done think. so much. You're doing too much. Nah, Come it's on. a piece of cake for me. Like I told you, I drink a little bit of stuff to warm up my throat and I'm ready to go for oh, the last good. one. Mr. <laughs> Not your hot toddy. Yeah, yes. There you go. There you, Not yet. There you go. Hey, now you got my attention, young lady. <laughs> okay, everybody, we're going to get to narcissistic um, word salad. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Take my other headphone out of my ear. That lets me hear what everybody else hears. And uh, now I can just hear you straight and not be talking crazy like I was. Okay, so. You might do a word salad on accident. And then I could be like, that's what it is, man. That's, that's what, what it is. I'll give you an example of word salad. We're going to play act for you right now. Yeah, we can. No, I'm just kidding. That's I not what we're going to do. I Google. I was laughing because it made no sense. And I was like, that's the point. <laughs> 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 oh, wait, I was reading up on this stuff and some of this, they give all these examples of word salad. I got a headache from just reading it because it, it was like, that makes headache. no sense if somebody says that it to me. <laughs> it, you'll beat your brain in trying to figure it out if you think it's a normal thing. No. Don't okay. Do it. All right. So this is what we're going to do, everybody. We're going to jump into some word salad and then I got something for you. Some, a little something, something, a little something, something, as Maxwell would say for you. And then... um if you don't know who Maxwell is, go Google that. But um you help, yeah. And, and then you know. Um, so here we go. Um, and uh, we are all broken. Thank you, everybody. You dropping straight up knowledge. Uh oh. <clears throat> voice cannot go. You came at the appropriate time. My voice is trying to act funny right now. What is it doing here? Um you, are you ready for this, Crystal? Or can you see what it says there? Here it comes. Yeah. Do you want me to read it? It's for you. <laughs> uh, it's for me to read. Oh, the psychopath free websites for me. <laughs> no, no. The, on the bottom of the screen, Eric says, oh my goodness. Now, here, let me do this. This is even better. Let's do that. <laughs> no, oh, not the... said, I walked around Portland looking like a cop for a couple of summers. Crystal wears the scalp so much better than I do. Crystal's made me laugh a bunch. All these just... Told you. Don't, aren't we all wearing our own scalp? It's just, you know, whatever's. Okay. Covering okay. the scalp, I get right? you. I get you. But I'm but trying to look like G.I. Jane, man. I hope you're not trying to I hope you're not trying to put aside he just gave you a compliment. Thank you. No, Eric is really sweet. Okay. That was really he, kind. He's letting you know. You make him laugh a bunch. You hear that? I am glad because the power of a woman is if she can make a man laugh, that is making him vulnerable. Look at that. You make him laugh. You you Eric vulnerable. Dropping knowledge coming into the party is Jay. Captain J is here. You big, I'm getting a Superman people, people thing and take the S off, put a J on it. Yeah. Man, Jared is here. Thank you, Jared, for being here. We truly appreciate Susie. it. And, and let's give some love to Susie with a Z. Oh, wait. I got something for that. Hold on. I got something over here. As well. She oh, was here God. for the first show. She what was is- here for the first show yesterday morning. 
And now, or afternoon, whenever that was, and now Crystal is here. So thank you both uh, for participating. And everybody else, thank you for your love and your messages. Susie, I just got your message. We know everybody's with their families. This was all spur of the moment for all of you. And uh, there was no binding thing that you had to be here. And thank you for taking out of your time. And everybody else, enjoying your family. That's most important, uh, more important than anything else. So I just want to give love to everybody for being here. So first show, <clears throat> Susie was here. Listen to me. Listen to me. You're um, going Susie was here. Pretty. And yeah. Uh, yeah, for the seventh for the seventh <laughs> time in sixty two years, and so, and uh, we really appreciate that everybody that's been here and showing love. Oh, and I got full cohort in crime. We start we started a lot of trouble, you and me. You know, you've I'm been doing on this here. a lot. Like I'm taking senior photos. Like, <laughs> like doing the, you know. Okay, I've never, okay. I I haven't heard I that. that Actually, you had that pose pretty while. good. Is that is that all the the acting? Uh, that you've done the classes. You know I should have brought mine. Mine is in here in the hallway and it looks ridiculous. Can I go get it or is that bad? You can do whatever you like because you because it, you'll see run the I show. Mean. Go get it. Go get it. Go it get looks it. It's weird because they kept me turning my neck and my neck looks wrinkled because they kept saying, turn, turn. And I'm like, I'm not the exorcist lady. Like, okay, I'm not an owl. I can't turn Your all neck the way. is what wrinkled. I'll show you. You have wrinkly like, neck? Okay, I'll be right here. You know where I'll be. I'll be right here. We'll be right here. Right, everybody? We're going to stay right here until she comes back because she got props. She got props and stuff. She's got... Okay, you guys, let's see here. When she comes back, we're going to look at what she's got. Put my fingers in here. When she comes back, when she, when she comes back, we're going to look at what she's got. And then we're going to get to the show because I've got some stuff set aside for you young folks. You young folks. Okay, so. Da, 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 da. Oh God. I know you thought it was going to be forever. And you know what? It probably doesn't even look that bad because you have oh, to like, wow. see it. God, Man, what's, heavy. What, what, like what is it they're trying to turn back. your neck all the way around like that? What's up with that? Can you see it? <laughs> yeah, it's or like, like you're all facing on. one way. Did you see we that? got. Oh, wait, here, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let me do something here. Let's do this. Let's play with that. Go like that. Everybody can see that, right? Let me get the little thing out of the way down at the yeah, bottom. Yeah, now you see. Oh, wait, hold on. I hit the wrong like, button. I had an okay face, and then they kept turn, turn, and then I started straining and holding yeah, my breath, breath you probably, got, and I was like, oh, I can't breathe. Your neck got strain marks in it from them trying to get you to twist like a pretzel. I don't know what that guy was smoking, but Maybe I said it to him, too. Maybe it was his company named Pretzel Photography. I don't know. <laughs> They're like super yeah, cool, funny, super cool, funny, funny super group. Cool. Those photographers back then. Okay. All right, so we're rolling through uh, the chat here. You guys are dropping some serious truth and love. Appreciate it. They even get something for you, Crystal. Look, check this out. Bam. Crystal, you're awesome. You're awesome, Jared. You guys are all awesome. <laughs> Strikeable. <laughs> oh man, that's just too funny. That's Don't too funny. Okay, going. everybody, here we go. We're going to get tortured now because I'm going to read to you. No, Crystal's going to help. Um, so, so here we go. I'm going to put it up on the screen. Here is some reference material for you. So you don't just think, well, you know, you go to NATV, they just spout off their opinions and they're mad at the narc. Well, that's not our channel. Hello, I am Senor. I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know what I ran out of words. It's too late for me. I don't know. Uh, what you got for us? Truth seekers and tellers are in the rise. Ooh, check you out. Just feeling like feeling like six flags mountain on a roller coaster going up, 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 up. I feel every yes. every link of the chain. Hey, keep that don't don't let that photographer back. Okay, let's jump into this. All right, here we go. Putting it up on the screen. And uh here we go. Um Blah, 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 and all that. You see the advertise. I mean, the uh, advertisement, uh, the way they're describing uh, uh, word salad, everything is your fault. But please go to psychopathfree.com. Uh, psychopathfree.com. You can take a look at this. They got some really great articles. Uh, that's the reference material for you today for this particular show. Uh, so, you know, information is not just coming out of Crystal and I, and we're just spouting off how mad we are because we're mad at the narc. You're able to go check out what content we're putting on for you you can go check it out yourself okay everybody um here we go uh 10 warning signs i'm telling you they say 10 so don't get mad at me for later it says 10 uh when 
uh, when a narcissist essentially threatened or bored uh, psychopaths will often use what's called word salad as an attempt to regain control over you. So here we go. We're going to get into this here. Uh, we're going to get to number one, uh, circular conversations. You want to help me out, Crystal? And not yeah. that you can see that. It may be kind of Ooh. small. I can you make can it bigger. It. Yeah, no, I can. And I can just z- zoom my eyes in. You'll <laughs> think you work something out only to begin discussing it again in two minutes. And it's as if you never even said a word the first time around. They begin reciting all the same tired garbage, ignoring any legitimate arguments you may have provided moments ago. If something's going to be resolved, it will be on their terms with psychopaths it's the same issues it comes up over and over again why are they so uh friendly with their ex again for example why are they suddenly not paying attention to you what it's just they're just sh- giving examples of the circular things that can come up and that was one of the um terms i found just even looking in the google search it was like mm-hmm. they call it cir- a circular language tactic or uh the attempt to create a perception of competence understanding control of a situation one doesn't have that at all (laughs) so i love how their number one was circular conversations because that's exactly what it feels like and why you get a headache like you said when you start reading it or hearing it it's just like you know you can ride your bicycle in a circle for so long and you're gonna go crazy right or you're gonna talk in circles same thing talk in circles you're gonna it's gonna hurt your head after a while it's just it makes no sense and (laughs) and that's happened to you yes no (laughs) Yes. <laughs> just, yes. I, I had to, I want to gently walk into that because I didn't know what the answer was going to be for sure. But. Definitely many people, <laughs> I've had many narcissists and many people that I've done this with, um, particularly the, mo- the more overt one was someone I was in a romantic relationship with and I was treating it like a normal person or, you know, and then you thought you were talking family member as well. Yeah, I, thought, I mean, I tried to make them normal. Looking back, I knew they weren't the whole time. And I'm not either, thank God. But, you know, it is it is what it is. You try it to work it, it out. <laughs> I know how to say things like that. I always credited men. I was like, men really know how to say some things. They'd be like, fair enough. Or like, it is what it is. <laughs> it it's is. a dude thing to say. And I'm like, I'm a dude now. I have I'm never heard that before. Things. That's it's actually true. I'm not being sexist. I'm totally not, I promise. But. It's true. And now men I know how to say it. And, and part of dealing with narcissists and these toxic dynamics is learning how to talk like that. Like, well, fair enough. Or like, well, if you think so, cool. Peace out. Mm. Like learning how to do that. And that took a lot of control on my part still. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> number two. <laughs> yeah. When you, when you, when you really think about it, like Tanya saying, she often walks in circles because of narc abuse. Very confusing and, and foggy brain. But what's nice, Tanya, is at least the nine things that we're about to go over, we know that it's being done deliberately so we can protect ourselves by staying away from it or not giving our emotions to it. Just the fact that you've made great progress, Tanya, shows that uh, you're learning the terminology, like you mentioned in the last show that we just did. You mentioned that you got to learn the terminology, learning the terminology. And right now, the newer gener, the, the the younger generation, I should say, learning that these are circular conversations. I mean, I can only imagine, Tanya, how many times you didn't think that you were in a circular conversation, but you actually were. And now and now the awareness is there. Yeah, Tanya, you make a very good point. Uh, they can be very confusing and uh, very foggy. Um, but, uh, I'm going to, sorry if I missed you guys up here. I'm going to go back here for a second. Um, what did she say here? Uh, you make a good point, Crystal. Um, Tanya's saying what again? Charlie Brown. Oh, your voice on Charlie Brown. Wow. 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 Yeah. Basically. And, uh, Tanya also says circular conversations. She calls it circle jerk. Uh, yeah. Some, some conversations are not even worth having with some people, especially if that's their pattern. But, uh, it's a call that we have to make. It's a choice we have to make. But you say you call it circle jerk. That's interesting. Because <laughs> they will jerk on in a circle. And they just want to see who's going to be willing to do it. And they want to see who's going to get all excited and amped up and get a oh, headache from it. I, guess I, like what Jared, I like what Jared says. Jared says run. Jared just says, just, as soon as you know that they're like that, just 
Yeah. What's got a, What do you say? Got a, is a diplomat? Was a diplomat. Oh, mom was a warrior. My, yeah, mine went to double binds language games. My dad was a diplomat. Mom is a warrior. Yeah, it is a language game. It's a word. That's why they call it word salad, right? It's just all jumbled mm-hmm. up. Mm-hmm. It's not funny. <laughs> She's like, I walk in yeah, circles. It can be. It can be very painful, but the reality of it is the more we step away from it, we can find some breathing room. Yes. So what do you the rock away. Do the lean back. Yeah. Do whatever dance you need to do. Don't Word talk. sell it. Wow, Jarrett. Oh, uh, wow. It's part of his marriage. Yeah. The last yeah. five years. Gosh, right. oh, I'm glad you're here too. We're all healing together. <laughs> I'll do it each and every day to you. Uh, yeah. At least we can talk about it. That's, Whether we're laughing that's a or good crying, point. it just yeah. smiling, being serious through whatever like emotion or reaction we're having. It just it's so healing and so wonderful. I'm so glad we connected the other year, Prax. I just have to say it again, like oh, you're it's so- been a huge healing place. It's been it was I mean, oh my god, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I'm you know, <laughs> Okay, I'm, I, I'm going to tell you right now, you have helped more people than I can tell you about that have referenced you and being encouraged by you because you were able to speak up and speak out. And more importantly, you're able to be available to help other people. It means a lot. Yeah. It can be painful recognizing that you opened yourself and became vulnerable to somebody who sought to manipulate your demise and bring you down or to make you silent, or to make a fool of you. And mm-hmm. Tanya, you survived that. And it, and one thing is for sure, you have been helping others. And uh, you're getting some more love on the, on the screen. <laughs> true. <laughs> true dad, Jared. So, uh, <laughs> <Dropping> truth. <laughs> um, you're just not another person venting on a channel and then moving on. You stay here. You find a home here. You feel relaxed here. That is the whole purpose for you to come in and feel like you're at home and uh, you can feel safe and, and you don't feel obligated that you have to do anything. But if you want to become a member of the channel, you can do that. Too. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just messing with you guys. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, but uh, we appreciate you guys. We're going to get back to, to the thing in just a minute, but we're going to roll through the chat for a moment. Um, the show's not going to be that long, by the way. So if you're wondering, but the chat keeps us uh, going, we're going to do that. Um, everybody showing love to each other. What you got, Eric? What you got? Tanya, I have cried a ton. The strange thing about that, he said, I don't think I've cried for an entire decade while I was with an arc. I wound up wow. being smacked in an emergency room. Woman doctor, blonde. Whoa. Or, Two years ago, I couldn't even talk. Girl, I hear I feel that. I understand. Crystal, you could tell your story, huh? Mm-hmm. There are <laughs> yeah, times you would- when you can't talk. It's a neurological like shutdown. When you've, it's like you have fried your nervous system and your brain, your body, everything. Mm -hmm. I know for me, maybe you feel the same, Tanya. I feel like I disconnected my mind and my body. Like I must have just, the whole thing just blew up and I had to re-saw it and reconnect it. And that's part of the healing journey. It's like you're reconnecting everything the way it's supposed to be. So, been working on it all weekend too. Hey, every day is a new day, right? And when we're in the present, that's why they call it a gift, being the present. <laughs> Unwrap that puppy. Every time. Every, it takes what it takes, Eric says, sometimes slowly, sometimes quickly, how the heart can ache through. I know. It just depends, right, on the day, on the moment. It's like that's the magic of life. You just never know if you're not trying to control things, right? You, you're just living life. And then Tanya said, when I started doing coaching wow. 14 months ago, all I did was scream and mm. cry. Trauma. I mean, whatever mm. it takes. What do they tell? Uh, a lot of times, packs and they'll say, you know, scream into a pillow, right? Yell into the pillow, punch the pillow. Mm. That's If that's all you have, if you're in your bedroom, a lot of times people will they give say, that find that, find that vacant lo- Find that vacant <laughs> lot, go stand in the middle. And me, just yeah, I need it, much more than a pillow. Out. So I needed to get myself in the did. boxing gym and yeah. stuff. And I yeah. <laughs> find a way to release it, right? Get you, yeah, start yeah. imitating a cat and something, and you see how they release their stress. Bringing number two, bringing up your past wrongdoings, 
and ignoring their own is something that's a part of the word salad. Please, Crystal, assist me on that. that It says, if you point out something nasty they're doing, like ignoring you or cheating, for example, they'll mention something totally unrelated from the past that you've done wrong. Yeah, I'll bring it up out of nowhere. I I get that a lot. Uh, Did you used to drink too much? Well, then their cheating really isn't all that bad compared to your drinking problem. Well, yeah. Uh, Were you late to your first two dates two years ago? (laughs) Two years ago. Silly. Two years. And uh, God forbid you bring up any of their wrongdoings because then you're a bitter lunatic with a list of grievances. It is so true. That's why I'm laughing because it's laughable when you're like, would you really realize what's going on? It is really funny. Like, I can brush it off so easily now, especially when it's not a romantic relationship. I do feel like it is a little bit easier as you learn, mm-hmm. but when it's romantic, mm-hmm. I feel like gosh darn it that really confuses it. and that's where we all got jumbled up in it right it's like yeah you have these feelings you have all your feelings mixed up with this person but it's true you'll be like uh i don't even want it's like i don't want to get into all the examples of what i could bring up with uh that particular person but yeah i mean he would admit to certain things he had done in his past like cheating or whatever and that are not good and then he would just start slamming me and even making up stuff that Mm. wasn't even true he'd be like oh you like this guy do you like these guys that are like this you know and that's what you want you better go get it and i'm just like what are you talking about like i never where's this coming from anyone like that like where did you get your information (laughs) i would be so i was more confused i was like an investigator you were trying to make sense of it I know, like a weirdo, but it is true. And I get that with my family members a lot too. It's like out of nowhere, it'll be like months. And I made a mistake like months ago. I did something silly and dumb. And they'll be like, so out of nowhere. So remember when you did that? Yeah. And I'm like, it's, it's a, it's a beautiful Sunday morning. Like, why are you, you're just totally relaxing in this? You know what? I think I need to bring up something you did. I'm like, I know what you did last summer, so that was amazing. Yeah, right. That's your whole life, huh? Jared says this. She <laughs> would bring up things from 1932 that I did. Not even kidding. 1932. He wasn't around then. That's the point he's making. He's it's kind of like a joke. <laughs> but Tanya, Tanya goes 1932. Jared, <laughs> he's like, what are you talking about? Uh, he was. He's mess. just. He's using an exaggeration of the <laughs> events but essentially she's bringing up stuff like what this article is talking about here mm-hmm. from psychopathfree.com mm-hmm. uh feel free to check out the article the reference material we're providing for this particular show um makes a very good point would you say bringing up the the number two thing that uh is a warning sign that you're dealing yes. with word salad from a mm-hmm. psychopath or a narcissist is bringing up your past wrongdoings and ignoring their own uh, let's look at number three. Number three, we move it up here, and Crystal will be able to Eight tackle is that. Go right condescending. Ahead, my okay, condescending and patronizing tone, which is yes, this is very important to get to keep their vibe, <laughs> narc vibe going. You have to be patronizing and condescending so that they can be mm-hmm. like higher. Yep. So the entire conversation will have this calm, cool demeanor. It's almost as if they're mocking you. Well, they are, and I've had it outright mocked and insulted me, gauging your reactions to see how much further they can push. When you finally react emotionally, key here, when you react emotionally, that's when they'll tell you to calm down, right? Raise their eyebrows, smirk, yep. feign disappointment, whatever their next reaction is, because they yep, get yep, to yep. like point out, you're the crazy one. So the whole point of word salad is to make you unhinged giving them the upper hand because remember conversations are competitions just like anything else with a psychopath. So That's crazy. ridiculous. It is, but it's in this one. I mean, I've had it recently <laughs> hanging the around. Co- wait, the calm down part, the eyebrows, um, the smirk. What, what yeah, would you, <laughs> that's a, this is a real feign disappointment. So, which, which one do you I'm gonna tell you? I've had, um, <sighs> I'm like, oh, I shouldn't get into any details. I should not do that. No details. But no details. Say, no details. I you save the names. details for during the, for during yeah. the week, a show during yeah. the week. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. No details. <laughs> no. The devil's in the details, so no details. So <laughs> no devils here. We'll just say that 
sometimes I do have some kind of reaction. Well, and I'm, I've gotten a lot better to where I can just kind of slough it off. And because I know, I know what's up. But um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let me just jump in there so you don't have to keep going. So, so Sorry, it'll you, turn into a very different type of a show. So uh, Jared says, so they can play the victim. So they can put yes, of course, and and be able to go. And I've heard it, Crystal. Oh, Crystal. Well, it sounds like you need help. Or like, Chris, oh my gosh, what a reaction! This is why we really want you to call someone and get some help. And I'm mm -hmm. like. Yeah, I've been needed help. I, I've been calling for help. I reached out uh, some years ago when I was in my apartment. In case you forgot, <laughs> I told you that story. I've been getting help. Yeah, I've been doing yeah. therapy. Like, hello. And it's like, no, they just want to be able to see. It's a, <sighs> it's a show. They're just in that moment. It's a scene and they want to win the scene. That's all. Okay, number, we did number three wow. there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do number four. Let me get over here and move that up. So crystal can help me out here and my voice is holding together or i'm going to be I calling know. for tea and my daughter is going to be coming here bringing me something go ahead crystal please them virtually here uh accusing you of doing things that they themselves are doing yeah once once you learn these lines down and get the bible down it's like the narc bible it's like oh Mm -hmm. And you know, yeah. you put that in your back pocket. So this yeah. is true. They accuse you of doing things they are doing. So just know they're projecting it. So it says, I mentioned this in the previous section about psychopaths putting you on the defense. And heated arguments, psychopaths have no shame. They will begin labeling you with their own horrible qualities. It goes beyond projection. Oh, it goes beyond it. Because most people project unknowingly. Very true. Oh. I've done that so much. As I realized on my healing journey, I'm like, oh, my God, I didn't know I was projecting all this stuff. Like, had no idea. I did not understand how it worked. But they're doing it purposefully mm -hmm. and, like, maliciously, right? Uh, psychopaths know they are smearing you with their own flaws and they are seeking a reaction. So keep that in mind, guys. After all, how can you not react to such blatant hypocrisy until you realize it's the only way to move on with your life? And be peaceful and heal mm. and move on mm. past it and never look back. That's how. And, and I think just going through these, these this is a great one, Paxton, that you found um, this resource and reference. Because once you get these down, you just keep reading it and reminding yeah. yourself. It's, yeah. I mean, for me, and I know Tanya too and everybody were talking about it. It's like this was key. And just getting it down and mm -hmm. stop treating all these conversations and people like it's a regular one. It's not. So yeah, that's important. And it, it, you know, we need the reminders, even though we may get the knowledge or the terminology, we can find ourselves minding our own business and it sneaks up on us from a psychopath, a narcissist, or someone who has a self-absorbed behavior mm -hmm. and it attacks our positive energy and before we know it, we've done been flipped upside down because we're not. Would you say narcissistic Bible? The 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 yeah, they Bible have their Bible own Bible. they have their own playbook as it. They're their Bible. narcissistic Bible. playbook. Yeah, I know what you meant by that. But their narcissistic playbook, <laughs> and before you know it, we we end up playing in their playbook, uh, like, and now we're contributing. Yeah, yeah. Would you say? Oh, that's a good one. How did I get in here? Oh, like, I yeah. want to know the story. Is it a pick your own ending? Yeah. Good, because I'm oh, picking man. it and doing it. I want it. out of this story. I love that. that oh, you know what? Funny. That should be the name. That should be the name of your book. <laughs> what out of this story? I want out of it. I comic it. strip. You're a genius, man. You're a you're a um, genius PR person. You come up with some good stuff, man. You some, say some really cool things. I said absolutely. Um, sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Well, hey, look, that's what uh, Tanya Tanya just said this a moment ago. Uh, yeah. We are as sick as the secrets they make us keep. That's why I ain't keeping them, and that's why keeping people their secrets, me. we we <laughs> can end up getting sick. No, don't tell so and so. No, don't let them know. And before you know it, we're holding it, and they're walking around like ah, da 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 da, because they dumped it on us things that they need to be accountable for. But let your feet do baby steps. We're gonna go ahead. Number five. Number five, multiple yeah. personas. Okay, yeah. let, me, let me make sure I get this in here right. Get that. Oh, you're there doing we go. great. <laughs> um, I'm, work, hey, I'm working on it. 
<laughs> and then I'm going to crash and go to bed. I know. Okay, I was going to say, you're going to need some rest. Uh, You've done yeah. a lot. Of, okay. Here we go. Good. Hey, I love, I love, we love our members. We love our subscribers and we love our viewers. And we mean it. Since Wait, Cincinnati's in the house before you keep reading. Oh. Gorgeous is back. Gorgeous is back. Gorgeous, we remember it. you being here before. Hey. I listened to it for the first time last night. Uh, you, awesome. you were here before. You were here another time. I thought, okay, I missed. somebody stole your identity. <laughs> okay, I'm just letting you know that. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Number five. Number okay. five. Okay, go ahead. You know, like multiple <laughs> personas through the course of a word salad conversation, you're likely to experience a variety of their personalities. Yeah. That makes sense. It's sort of like good cop, bad cop, demented cop, stalker cop, scary cop, baby cop. And if you're <laughs> okay. away, That's a lot of cops. Yeah. If you're pulling away, sick of their abuse and lies, they will restore a glimpse of the ideal, idealized phase. Oh, a little torture to lure you back in with promises of marriage, children. If that doesn't work, suddenly they'll start insulting the things they once idealized. So you'll be left wondering who you're talking to because the personas are imploding as they struggle to regain control. Our beloved administrator, Victoria, summed this up perfectly. The devil himself was unleashed in a desperate fit of fury after being recognized. Twisting, turning, writhing, spewing, flattering, sparkling, vomiting. That is such a great way to explain it. Yes. I have seen it, experienced it, heard it all. Pretty deep, huh? It's <laughs> I read it deep. for the first time when I read it and I read through these and I read, got to this one. I went like, okay, I got to put this on the show. <laughs> I got to put this wild on. stuff that you're dealing with somebody. I don't even know how to describe it to you. There's different levels of it, obviously. And like that last part right there hits on the, the absolute, just the more crazy and psychopathic. And yeah, I mean, you're like, this is yeah. demonic, what we would call demonic. Yeah, that's what you, you would see call it. the spirit. <laughs> that's what you would call through. it. Like, yeah. yeah, this is not one person or like one persona, whatever you want yeah. to call it. You're um, dealing with some crazy stuff. Twisting, yeah. turning, writhing, spewing, mm -hmm. flattering, sparkling. Mm -hmm. And there you have it. Yep. That's what's going to come out because it's nothing that's going to make you better. Mm -hmm. The whole yeah. attempt is to. To, to literally take your brain and spin it around so they can have full control of you. So be careful out there, everybody. Um, you got to help me, Crystal, on this one. I'm going to put something up on the screen. Here we go. We got to give out some love. Yay! Just subscribe to me. Thank you very much. Five's alive. I like your voice. I don't know why. What's I love it. to me. I it's love crazy it. making. I love the crazy. That's <laughs> what it is. It's crazy. Ma not me. Funny but it, it, You're funny making. You're not crazy. You're funny making. <laughs> <laughs> me. Number six. The eternal victim. Somehow their cheating and lying will always lead back to a conversation about how their abusive past or a crazy ex and you'll end up feeling bad for them. Even when they've done something horribly wrong, you will mm -hmm. instead use it as an opportunity to bond with them over the su supposed complex feelings, like when they create, yeah, trauma, this happened. Let me tell you a story about what happened to me. So, and it says, once they have successfully averted your attention elsewhere, everything will go back to the way it was. So wow. just keep that in mind. No bonding or deep spiritual connection whatsoever, even though it will evoke those feelings inside of you. Cause I know I have felt it and yeah. been there and, and listened and done the whole thing. Like, Oh, wow, mm -hmm. we're having a breakthrough. Like, yeah. I knew yeah. something happened. I was waiting for you to tell me. So when I asked, I'm glad we're having this conversation. Yeah. Psychopaths <laughs> cry abuse, but in the end, you're the one left with nothing. Yeah, for sure. I Absolutely mean, nothing from all of the storytelling that makes them the eternal victim. And you know An what? An everlasting victim, no matter what relationship they're in or who they talk to. Yeah. Some of them are good. Like, I feel like narcissist woman can kind of play into the victim and martyrdom. You know, they, like they say moms can be martyrs and blah, blah, a little bit more than almost sometimes the men, I feel like, or my man example that I had 
mm-hmm. in a romantic relationship, he was almost really good at like, I don't want you to have, I'm not looking for pity. He would be like, I'm sharing this. I don't want <laughs> That's pity. a red flag in Please, itself. Don't you I know, guy. like, I don't want that. I'm sharing this because, you know, we've been together this long and I didn't want to have to. And like, almost like it, in that moment, it was believable. It's like, oh yeah, you know, I'm like, I'm not pitying you. I'm just listening. And, you know, I'm really sorry that happened to you. And, He's establishing this fake common ground mm-hmm. where it's like, exactly. I don't want any pity. And as soon as you say it, so we're really the same. But let me tell you even more how much sadness they yes. invoked up on me. And I was yeah. just trying to be a good person. And you're like, oh, man. Mm-hmm. Tanya calls it the right thing. They do it by choice. And here we go. It's a bunch of malarkey. I love, I that love it when you say that. I just, that and when you say naughty nar- narc or something like that, whatever, I, I just love it. Those two are just totally your thing, and you are spot on. Uh, it's a bunch of it's a bunch of malarkey, I tell you. I don't know why the sheriff went over there. We need to go and wrangle up some guys. What's wrong with me? I need hey, number seven. You need sleep. Number seven. <laughs> number seven. Please. You begin explaining basic human emotions. Yes, and decency <laughs> on how to treat other human beings I start drawing that. pictures Try, this is what a tree looks oh like and this God. is when you love you hug it and this means love <laughs> and they're cannot, like laughing at you i know i cannot believe <laughs> i took the time to be like <laughs> educating uh grown people you were holding <laughs> class with the narc trying to explain everything see. and they're going like you know i'm gonna break up with you i'm just gonna walk out i'm just gonna walk out because you're too good for me but I just and can't tell you you're too good for me. I got to make you that. look bad before I walk I, out. <laughs> I did have him in that particular example. He did tell me that. He would be like, you know, you know, we're not going to be together. Like, this is not going to last longer than like this amount of time. And I would be like, why are you saying that? Yes. You were going like, no, really don't say that. There's good in everyone. And he's, like, and he's thinking, not in me, baby girl. I don't think you understand. I'm a man of the streets. I'm a gutter then, gutter. I know. I'm a gutter I would ball. Call it out. <laughs> exactly. And then I would call it out. I'd be like, well, if you're telling me it's not going to last, then what are we doing here? I'd be like, uh, we, you, you be trying know. To, you're trying to dissect what? it and break it down yeah. and make it make sense. You're, like, you're, you you're left braining it. And he's going like, no, nah, I'm trying to mess with your left brain. So you will always think about me when I'm gone. And you're going like, no, nah, I don't think you understand. I'm trying to help you. So we anyhow go back and forth. What does Eric say there? It's sister cat power. What? She hung out in therapy for eight years straight. She said three times in her life she threw out everything she owned to this day. She doesn't know where some of her masters are. <laughs> I'm just laughing. Oh, oh dear. That's, <laughs> just, that's some crazy stuff you get. That's some crazy stuff you get. Tanya said, I don't often what? share this, but I've never been in a relationship or children because of the narc abuse. Totally ruined any interest. Divorce was an issue with my mother as well. Ugh, that wow. makes sense. I'm sorry. That does. Yeah. Totally. The, the pain can be generational with a narcissist. It can uh, run, and that's what they want. They want to ruin family lineages and legacies by by literally making it where love and joy is something that's detestable. Uh, but uh, hold on. The best is yet to come. So be a little patient. It's going to all be rectified. Number seven, Jared is saying. Totally true. Uh, you being, the one that you just read, right? That's. Or did you wait, I didn't even read it because wait I was at, we didn't do it. Oh, that's we right. We, go ahead. about the title oh, sorry. before that's I even right. read it because we're keeping way it. Way to go, real. Jared. Way to, way to direct the show. Thank you. We're going to get to number seven now because Jared said so. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. We got. It's, we went uh, off script there. Go ahead. It says you find yourself explaining things like empathy and feelings and being nice. Yes. Normal adults do not need to be taught the golden rules from kindergarten, which... I've said that. I'm like, remember the book, All the Things You Ever Need to Learn, You Learn in Kindergarten? I'm like, that was a really good book. You are not the first person who has attempted to see the good in them, and you will not be the last. And you think to yourself, if they can just understand why I'm hurt, then they'll stop doing it. But they won't. They wouldn't have done it in the first place if they were a decent human being. And the worst part is they pretended to be decent when you first met, sucking you in with a sweet, caring persona. So they know how to be kind and good but they find it boring <gasps> boom that's the truth bomb right there they find it boring yeah because it's not yeah. really them and yeah. it's just an act they're just portraying different they're like oh that's how it okay mm-hmm. that's what you're supposed to do i will do it when i you know when i need to but not because it's not me 
Yeah. Can't, you know, it's not their qualities. They're just uh, reflecting, projecting, you know, mm -hmm. someone else's good qualities and stuff. And watching that, that. That last sentence is really, that's that's weighty when you really think about it. Like mm -hmm. you're explaining right now. It's boring yeah. to them. Yeah. I've seen it happen where I'm like, I've kind of been the fly on the wall and watched it happen where I'm like, wow, this is really disturbing to see how, you know, how the actual emotional reactions mm -hmm. happen. And mm -hmm. I can read the faces and stuff once I, once you realize what's really going on. But before you're, it, it doesn't make sense. Like you said, you're trying to left brain in, dissect it. But once you know, you're just like, oh my God. Like I do, I, Sometimes I talk to myself under my breath. I'm just like, wowzers. Or I'm like, my yeah. goodness, that's disturbing because <laughs> it's like I just can't help it. Like when I see it, it's true. Like, how did they, how did the equation, you know, it's like when you're, if you could ask them, you do know two and two equals four. I don't understand how you keep saying two plus nine is four and you're trying to get me to believe you. They literally, can take you down a road that will get you nowhere. Uh, yeah. Not man. super fun unless you're going camping out. And, <laughs> you know, you got some food in the car and you're, okay, making a whole weekend out of it. Man. You guys you got, are awesome. Thank you. Yes, they are. This NATV community. And it's just the right size where everyone can still talk with one another. Man, I tell you, in the community uh, tab section in, uh, for NATV, and even through any video you want to pick, the things that everybody talks about just blows my mind, uh, the way everyone is supportive with one another. And um, anytime anything. somebody's anything other than polite and uh, supportive, uh, of course, we, we immediately kick them out forever. Um, but uh, what I find interesting is the way others just ignore it. They don't jump on that train and, and try to correct a foolish thought or narcissistic thought that's dropped into the chat. Uh, it's just the right size for us to keep it clean and safe, and we appreciate everybody that's a part of it. And then we got number nine. Number nine is our last one. Uh, number eight, please, my friend. Excuses. Everyone messes up every now and then, but psychopaths recite excuses more often than they actually follow through with their promises. So their actions never match up with their words. You are disappointed so frequently that you feel relieved when they do something decent, they condition you to become grateful for the mediocre. I would say it's even below mediocre. It's just, yeah, it's the bare minimum to be. That's a good point. Like would you human. say below the mediocre, right? I think that's what I heard you say. Yeah, it's the bare minimum. Yeah. It's below mediocre. It's just enough to make it look like I'm a human being and I'm doing the act. Basically. And that's what it is, right? It's an act. Yeah, I it's see It's definitely it. an act. Yeah. I, I'm like, I can't help. I'm so like, I'm not passive aggressive with other people as much as I am like talking to myself. I'll be like, well, that's an interesting show that I'm watching. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I try to entertain myself because it's just, it is disturbing. <laughs> They're right. It's disturbing. Oh, man. I'm like, wow. I so love the things you say sometimes. It's like, like, you don't even need a remote, huh? You just sit there watching like you're watching TV and go like, hmm, that's I'm interesting. Like, who wrote this? Who did your dialogue? They need some pointers. Can, I, can they call me? Because I can rewrite. <laughs> you, actually you could definitely coach more. them. Yeah, they need some You could coach them. You got the experience to coach them. You know, it's just not believable anymore. I'm so sorry. It's like the act is falling apart. And sometimes so, they don't know the act is falling apart. But that's no. why they go and find new supplies so they can keep. Because they, they can't come up with a new act. Because actually the act is kind of weak and lame anyhow. It is. That Bad. is, to put it nicely. Bad. What can you do to protect yourself from things like that? Uh, it's absolutely true too. Jared says it's meant to destroy your spirit. Aware of what's taking place, we're able to see it for what it is, but not confuse the narc with people who truly are trying to be good to us. And that becomes the special key in life, is not to lump everyone in the boat or to stay in the boat of depression, but to, well, put your leg over and jump into a sea of positivity. Mm -hmm. How can you do that? Well, you got to be careful. Even some of the people you follow online, you got to just be careful who you even are subscribing to that may sound good for a while, but before you know it, 
you're going down their word salad and they're telling you how much you don't measure up and it, everything was your fault uh, in dealing with a narc. So please be careful. I'm just, we get a lot of information from, from you, the viewers, and uh, we want you to know we hear you. And uh, you got to be careful out there. Love it. Um, yeah. Hey, man, life is bigger than what uh, uh, a narcissist or anybody else is doing. Uh, it's been around a lot longer than us. Uh, leaning, uh, well, excuse me, what is that? Leaning? She means learning. Learning. Maybe. Okay. Learning is mutual, I think, in healing. Mm -hmm. uh, very good points uh, both of you are making. They want you in the boat. And it's, it looks like we're trying to save you. But in actuality, you're a good swimmer in life. You can handle the sea of positivity. They want to pull you into the boat, make you think you're drowning, and that's just too good to be true. But in actuality, they are too good to be true. There you go. You it's food for it. thought, everybody. Food for thought. I got on my soapbox again. Let me get all trying to Boom. protective dads, my protective dad speech. You've heard it before. So <laughs> All right, uh, number nine. What in the world just, just happened? I just, when I got to number nine, I had to laugh, and I'm sorry I laughed, you guys. I know this is, can be serious, but you guys know how we are on NATV Network. In this uh, community of healing, take themselves too seriously to the point. And you, you've told us this when you wrote us. You, you don't mind watching them, but it's, it goes overboard. So you feel comfortable with us, but by no means are we not taking this serious at all we're taking this we're we're taking this very serious is what i'm trying to say uh man my brain's giving way okay yeah. you're up my friend you're For up. sure so it says these conversations leave you drained you'll be left with an actual headache yes you'll spend hours even days obsessing over the arg argument you'll feel as if you exhausted all of your emotional energy to accomplish nothing You'll have a million pre-planned arguments in your head ready to respond to all the undressed points that you couldn't keep up with. You will feel the need to defend yourself. Yeah, I've done all that. You've tried to come up with a diplomatic solution that evenly distributes the blame and therefore gives you both a chance to apologize and make up. But in the end, you'll find out you're the only one apologizing because <laughs> you're the only real one. Uh, keeping it real and they're not. There it is. So There it is. <laughs> what can you do if you're trying to, if you got a million pre-planned arguments in your head, how could you possibly be able to get a good night's sleep? No, I remember you're walking. I you're not walk. walking on eggshells. You're walking on dino, dinosaur shells at that point. Eggs, hot I don't coals. Know that, I don't know how that came dinosaur out. Hot shells. coals, yeah. <laughs> Mixed together. <laughs> Have you ever done that? You know, the heart cult like ran through that. I did that one time. <laughs> You've talked to me enough to know there's no way I'm going to do something like that. And first of all, look at the kind of people be doing that kind of stuff. Does it look like I'm the kind of person be doing that kind of stuff? No, you look too smart for that. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I'm just Hilarious. Okay, so, there you go. Um, I know the feeling. You can swim with sharks. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the way you got to be when you deal with an art. You can go like, no matter what you do, I'll be all right. You go on about your business. Go do what you got to go do. Yeah. I will say one time I really was in a sea of barracuda out in the oh, key, man. like in the keys in the open water. Tell me I was more. Snorkeling. I was snorkeling. I was a teenager. I was like 16. No, I was, I was 16. And I was with my friends. And they warned me, like, because I guess they did it. It was my first time snorkeling. My first time we're out in the ocean. There was barracuda everywhere covering Dude. me. And one of them got right in my face and smiled with his razor sharp teeth. Oh my goodness. And I knew you have to remain calm. So I just sat there and I like looked at him and smiled too. And we just sat there looking at each other, smiling. And they were they were just all over me. And I was like, what am I gonna do if they just start but <sighs> oh, you can't do it? Just stay calm. And it was fine. They were just swimming all over me and smiling and, and I, no just, sudden movements then. No sudden movements. Even, I was calm. more still than I am now. Thank God back then I didn't have the ADHD symptoms like <laughs> winding through like oh. I do now. <clears throat> Are you freaking me out? Because I don't. Fun okay. story, right? I, no, I don't know. If, man. Um, it's a real story. I would have probably been. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> you would have been like. Oh, my. I'm allowed. I got to go. This nigga, like dinner time. Barbecue chicken. <laughs> barbecue Please, chicken. Boat, we can get out of here. <laughs> I know. Oh man, I Tanya like, says Tanya got some love for you. Rock. <laughs> she hey, she must be a rock because they didn't want to eat her. 
<laughs> I was pretending I was a rock. Exactly. Thank you. Pakistan. That's what, exactly what I was thinking. Frozen in time. Gray rock. That's what we're yeah, talking about. You were gray about. rock. Dark. There we you gray go. Rock. You now gray rock that. Full circle. Yeah. That but was a narcissistic a shark. You gray rocked him. We're bringing it full circle, but not a circular language conversation of a word. Not out. even close to it. Not okay. even close to it. We just, okay, hey, we're doing, we're, we're doing that random rambling thing, which is how we got started. I got we're started. Focused with talking. key points. So, that was. Listen, the- uh, I've done inner child work since 1986. The journey continues. Age 10. Age 10. Uh, oh, you took on an alcohol addiction at age 10 is what you're saying okay. to you. Like whenever, when she was talking, I'm just like, my heart was going out. I mean, and what everybody yeah. said was awesome. It was just, she said she spent her life being ADHD, but not knowing it. And like, just realizing all these things after the fact, like traumas passed down, generational traumas and curses. And, and I have realized and learned all that as well, just in the past year or so. Um, and it's just been like a slow un- unraveling and unwinding. Mm-hmm like mm-hmm. now on a healing journey so what she said i really really i'm like wow once i realized i'm like this thing's i gotta break this thing and start praying against that and doing all sorts yeah. of things like starting doing i started doing some really different things once i realized that is literally true it just gets mm-hmm. past and then you see the you pattern and you see that it in other people generational part even jared talked about it and put that back up there mm-hmm. uh the generation passing down is true um so mm-hmm. you, your son's watching Mm-hmm. being influenced by other generations that he's connected to and the generation that, that you're passing on to him as well, the one that you're embarking on. And you're doing a fine job. You're doing the best that you can in the situation that you're dealing with. So I give you props. You, you um, see Tanya's got typing, typing issues. Oh, that's the least. Those are them. the least of your problems, madam. <laughs> I am a good typer, actually, when I have both my hands. When you what? When I have both my hands, I'm a good typer because I took a typing class in middle school. So, like, I know where all the keys are. I hope you have both your hands. You know, like, right now I'm holding a mic. So, like, I was typing with one hand to you. (laughs) You did well. Hey, I I was able to read it. But it did did really well. (laughs) Empathy is never. Oh, wait. I got to go. I was trying to read that too. And I actually hit it. I know. Empathy's never occurred. It's brought me to my knees a few times, but I love this life. Oh, me too, man. That's good. Yeah. Getting some applause. Oh man, I gotta give you some too. Oh, wrong one. Oh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, Jared. That was awesome. Yeah. Sorry, Jared. Oh. Uh, wow. I never knew why I was journaling months ago. Now I do to help people and myself. You're leaving a legacy for the children that respect you and admire you and love you to see that you are more than the man that someone right now is lying about they're lying about you right now and those journals are going to prove that you're more than the man that they are describing i want to be a spark to change to change how domestic violence is looked at sexual assault is looked at um i want to let people know there is help there they are not alone and never to give up never ever ever to give up sometimes our families we can't talk to because we're, we're connected with them and they're emotionally connected with us. And that was one of my biggest things is that I didn't realize, okay, my family can't really help me. I needed a professional and I needed other women who went through this. So a spark to change for me means that our community, there are people in our community like the center, the, the center is it for me, but that will help us, that will guide us and, um, and make a change. So I was embarrassed and shameful to tell my story that I was being abused. And no one should be ashamed or feel like it's their, you know, that they did something wrong. Abuse is abuse.